and I was putting up tents with my group. We were all putting up tents just, you know, because it's, rain it's raining here, it's a bit hot, but it hasn't doubted spirits, it hasn't, you know, done with anything. We were putting up tents and we saw a helicopter fly down. Lots of people were like coming past and shouting, oh, Bear Grylls is here, Bear Grylls is here. And we all ran over just to come and see him. He's just come into this massive tent and greeted loads of the explorers and loads of the scouts, which has been really nice. Hey guys, Bear Grylls here just to say welcome to the opening ceremony of Charmwood 2019. You are going to have an amazing time. Let's give a big chap scout cheer. One, two, three. Yeah. I just want to say thank you to all of you leaders and volunteers, so many heroes I'm surrounded by here who've worked so hard to get this huge tent for you guys up. Keep going and have an amazing week. Well, I'm really looking forward to all the activities. They said that they've got over 100 activities on camp that to do, so that sounds really exciting, like cinema and stuff. Be doing the inflatables in the shorts, trying the quad biking, the bungee run, watch spots, the escape rooms, the zip line in that, and like the rock climbing, the offside day, which is in Nottingham when we're doing ice skating, quad biking, meeting new people from around the countries and making some friends. Actually, looking at coming over from my fear of speaking to new people um, from different places. Um, I'm looking forward to the opening ceremony because, well, I don't really know what to expect, but I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to see everyone, all the explorers are going to be in here together, so we're kind of meet everyone and meet people from all A huge, huge welcome to Charmwood 2019 our ninth international scout and guide jamboree here in Leicestershire. All of these orbs, each representing a country here at Charwood. All these different places, all bringing their energy here to Cato's Farm for Charmwood 2019. Do you know what? It's just amazing how the energy of guiding and scouting spread across the whole world. All these different countries, but we're all part of the same movement. Charmwood, please welcome from the back of the court, your flags and flag bearers, scouting and guiding across the world. Tantos países I thought the opening ceremony was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic to see um, all the different countries that have travelled this far for our international camp. Uh, we're going to go around and do lots of different activities. <laughs> Uh, meet new friends, uh, earn some badges. I've just done the free full stunt bag. I really enjoyed it. It was a very active challenge. I was quite scared at the top, um, but I really enjoyed it. The activity that's challenged me the most is the stunt bag because you have to build up, build up your courage to jump off this really high thing and land on a bag for there. We have just been on the Challenge Assault course, um, including four stages. A part where you just crawl through, climb up slides, go down slides. Second part, going through tunnels. A third part, about to about balls, four of them, to get to the end. And the fourth part is the rope. My favourite part was the balls that you bounce across because they're really slippy and you can always fall off at any time.
Scouting challenges me because we like always meet new people and get to try new things. And also some things we might not want to do, but if we try it, it's like a new thing we might end up liking. Yeah, and we like to develop new skills that we wouldn't do in any other activities. Scouting make, it challenges me because it's more outdoors, not indoors, so we can do a lot more activities than normal. I think it's important for younger people to be challenged because it means that when they're older they, they know how to do things and they know what to do. So we have just been doing an escape pod and it was Christmas themed. It was fun because we got to work as a team and um, it showed that we're good as a team and we can work better. It's nice because um, I've always wanted to do an escape room but I've never like had the chance so we got to do it here. I feel proud of myself and my team because we actually got through it and we managed to solve the puzzle. Scouting and guiding is across the world um, and it's a fantastic way of bringing people together. We've had over 900 internationals from 28 countries, which is more than we've ever had on any other Charmwood. I'm from the Mad Hatters Explorer Unit in Harbour District, which is in England. I've been camping with the um, Norwegians from Yelloy. Uh, we are from Norway, um, on the island of Yelloy. Yeah. Uh, we started by driving to the airport at 4 uh, a.m. So we have to get up quite early. We're going to be hosting some Sri Lankan guides. We're most looking forward to learning what their life's like and trying their new food. I'm from Leicestershire in the UK and I'm camping with German international explorers. We are Belgian scouts. Uh, we come from the uh, eastern part of the country. Uh, we speak French and um, it took us about 10 hours, I think. The Germans are really good campers. They have full of, they're full of energy and they're just really fun to be around and they've showed us different things, what they do in Germany to what we do differently here in the UK. So the international team were focusing on the uh, UN's strategic development goals, uh, the SDGs. Um, the idea was to try and create a better world using scouting and guiding as a foundation. The culture's shared, the uh, entertainment, it all comes together in one big event and makes memories that people remember for their lifetimes. At the international tent, somebody gave me a lovely pair of um, like guiding Australia badges and one of them had a typo on them and said Australia and I've given that to my sister, so now we have nearly matching badges.
Well, personally, I'm most looking forward to meeting new people and well being with the uh, English scouts I met last year when they come, uh, came to Norway. Well, it's it's mostly to um, experience uh, how other scouts from around the world uh, live as scouts and how they they perceive the world as scouts and uh, of course you know activities fun all that and uh, to do that and experience all that with uh, our little band it's important because um, you like learn new things about like the way they do things over in Germany and they learn things and it's just nice to meet new people from different places. They've like taught us how to speak German so they were like giving us phrases to learn in German so that was quite cool. From everything that we've heard through my amazing team and everyone that we've spoken to on the buses and as we've dealt with every issue, I think all of the internationals are going to go away with a big smile on their face because no matter what happened, we've carried on. Hey, currently it's 37 degrees in Norway, so... <laughs> Well, it was a little bit of a shock coming here. It's about 19 degrees, isn't it? And uh, raining, so <laughs> classic British weather, I think. Probably the first story I would tell my parents is about the mud and the through to get to any activity you had to go through uh, ankle deep mud and uh, it was really fun even despite the mud. Science is really fun when you get to do like all the creating type stuff. So the STEM centre means science, technology, engineering and maths centre. And there's loads of stuff to do there. There were biology, physics and chemistry related activities. And one of the activities we did was um, looking at x-rays of various parts of the body. Um, that was a good activity because it allowed us to um, widen our knowledge of the human body in ways we wouldn't normally experience in school. The first thing we need to do is hold the dart back up and pull out its wings. Um, when I made the solar panel car, um, it was really fun making uh, the car bit, but then also learning about how the solar panels power it by the light. You got to use hot glue guns and then you had like a big uh, racing track with lights flashing down that you used to put it under, that you put it under and it would go. And then you had to like create a team name and stick it on and write the time that you did it in. Solar panels help the world because it uses the sunlight and uh, the light from the moon to power things. Three, two, one.
I like science because there's loads of things to do with it. Like, you can do loads of stuff with science if you know enough about it. I think my favourite part in there is doing the virtual reality. Well, it's like you're in this big sort of factory and you get to go on all the different floors and stuff. Well, in school you don't really learn about like very technology type of science. Uh, you learn more about like the like the chemicals and stuff and maybe like body parts. But then when you come here and you do the solar panels, you get to create something and then you learn about technology and the science of it. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive At Charmwood there are lots of different active activities like bungee trampolining, zorbing, climbing. My favourite activity is probably bungee trampolining as it keeps you warm and it's just really fun.
My favourite activity was the zip line because it was the most scary, but then when you've done it, you wish you did it again because it's really fun. You go really high and then they get you all in and you have to step down so it feels like you're going to fall because it feels weird because there's nothing under you so you just have to fall and then you go really fast zooming down and it's really fun at the end because you flip back a bit. A lot of people just stay indoors so it's really good to come out doors and meet new people and do things that you wouldn't really do every day. It's important to stay active on camp so that you don't spend all your money eating sweets and even if you do, you still don't come back worse than you were before you came. Uh, I just did the last man standing which is behind me and the idea is that two um, poles inflated with air spin round and hit you and try and knock you down to the floor. So there's a red one which uh, goes just above the floor which hits your feet and then there's a black one which goes and hits your head. You have to jump around, dodge and then if you're too slow or you're too early you still get hit down. So there is a grab and run I think it's called where you're attached to a big bungee around your waist which is also connected to the wall behind you. You have to run into the ball pit and grab as many balls as you can and, put, come, and then come back and put them in your bag and do it again but you're on a big elastic. I'm really looking forward to the outdoor water sports to Motru where we will go out for a day and I'm guessing it's going to be really fun. We've been doing raft building today um, on the beach behind me and we've been building our rafts and then trying to see whether they would float but ours didn't, it kind of sunk. Well it didn't really sink, the barrels kind of floated but all the wood fell off it. It fell to our room bad because we never got it off the land. It's just, it just, it just ended up lying in a heap on the floor. Um, I prefer to see them because, like, it's easier because you don't have to, like, be balanced and be stood up and stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to the climbing wall because it's really fun. Well, I've just been doing abseiling and as I was climbing up, I was a bit scared because I'm like a tiny bit scared of heights. But like, when he said lean back and sit in your harness, I started to overcome my fear. And then when I started doing it, it was actually, it was like really fun. 
and I've got a rope on and my fingers are black. So if someone's scared of something, the person who's done it can help the person who's scared of something. I think it's good to have a dreadful activity in your account because it's like you bother try and do stuff and it makes your camp more exciting because if you can do stuff and there'll be some things that you can do some things you can't but on camps you can overcome your fears so if you manage to do something then you can go home and tell all your friends that you've been, they'd be able to do it Inclusion is I think it's to make sure everybody's included in everything, like in all the activities and all the events and everything that's going on. It's not just for like the disability group because I'm disabled myself, but it's more for everyone. The inclusion team are here on camp um, to make sure that we can check in with everybody, make sure that things like disabled toilets are in place, um, make sure that everybody's feeling generally okay and just have a chat and be really nice, smiley, happy faces. There are two or three participants who have come up to me on camp and said how amazing it has been to have been included. The inclusion team can help people with disabilities like me. This morning you gave me a lift up here to the activity fair and it was really helpful. At the opening ceremony, I was just sat right at the back with, along with everyone else and I saw the race platform and I saw Suzanne and I was like, right, I need to get myself out there. So I just got up, waved Suzanne over and I said, look, I'm really struggling, I can't hear the stage, I can't see the stage, I don't know what's going on. So she said, come up on the race platform with me and she basically just repeated everything they said to me so I was able to understand what was happening, which was really like, it was a big change for me. We've got a young girl with a hearing impediment who really, really struggles on camp normally um, and because there's been people here to support her, she's had a really, really amazing time, been able to create lots of friends. Inclusion across scouting and girl guiding is absolute paramount importance. Um, there are lots of people who really, really benefit from scouting and guiding but can't do that without just that little bit of extra support. And to provide the support to the leaders as well because a lot of leaders are not quite sure how best to support. So just being able to be here to provide just a little bit of advice goes a long way. Inclusion is about making scouting and guiding inclusive for absolutely everybody regardless of whether they've got any um, special needs or need any extra little bits of support. The more that inclusion is our priority, the more people can access scouting and guiding and have a really, really great time. So, we are here this evening to celebrate what we have achieved so far here at Charmwood. We will be celebrating all sorts of things that have gone on in Charmwood this week. We've got loads of great acts coming on for you tonight. We will be intermingling with the Charmwood's Got, Charmwood's Got Talent and the international teams to bring you lots of performances from around the globe. 
and finishing off with a DJ and a big party to celebrate Charwood 2019. For all those who said before Charnwood, oh well we've never had a wet one, well now we certainly have. We put it down to experience and we're here, we've got through it and have we still had a good time? <laughs> Give us a big cheer if you've tried something new this week. Give us a cheer if you made a new friend. Give us a big cheer if you met someone from a country, different country. Give us a cheer if you got very wet feet. Hopefully, like Abby and Tim said, you've got lots and lots of memories to take away with you that will hopefully outweigh all of that mud and rain. The one thing that I take away from this camp is uh, the way scouting and guiding came together in crisis. Uh, we have dealt with all kinds of things that have been thrown at us and it didn't matter what happened, all of us joined together to make sure that everyone was safe, had fun and got the job done. We started the build in record beating heat but started the camp in relentless, unprecedented rainfall which turned parts of the beautiful campsite here at Cato's Farm into a mud bath and ultimately the early closing of the camp. Despite the rain, there's been a true scouting and guiding community spirit of working together and making the best of a bad situation. It's been a truly memorable Charmwood and as the song says, it was something unpredictable, but we still hope you had the time of your life. scouting sort of designed to give people a flavour of life because I'll be quite honest I would never ever have done anything like zip lining climbing walls or anything of this magnitude like if I wasn't a scout like I've been able to do so much that I never would have I didn't want it to end I've we've just got into like the swing of everything and we just wanted to, to carry on because we were just having such a good time. We just didn't want it to end so early. And despite all the, the wet and the wild, it's been really fun. Stuff like the, the shooting and the stem and all of that, I've really loved. So I think it's been a great camp. <laughs>